So this is the same day bake and this is the control which is the overnight rest in the fridge before baking. Both will bake at 120 degrees um, for 17 minutes. As you can see there's not really too much of a difference visually. The spread is pretty much the same with a dense middle um, and a little more spread on the side. Color wise they both baked up around the same color as well. This is with 140 degrees bake at 35 minutes. And as you can tell, the color is a little more golden than 120 degrees one. Base-wise, it doesn't spread quite as much because of the higher temperature, but not too much of a difference, I would say, between how much it spread around the edges. And the color of the base is definitely darker, so you have more of a toasty note on this as compared to the milky, creamy flavor on the 120 degrees bake. There will also be more of a snap on this one than it would on this. Ultimately, it's a matter of preference when it comes down to the flavor of the shortbread. Depending on what sort of flavor you like, whether you prefer it more toasty or more milky, you could go for either bake. This chair is the frozen one. Both sat in the fridge overnight before this was placed into the freezer to be frozen. The middle is a little bit more compact than the control group. But I would say there's not too much of a difference. Because it was baked from frozen, an additional 5 minutes was added on to the bake time. So it might seem a little darker on the base. This chair was baked on a silicon mat, and you can tell the difference between the silicon mat and the baking paper. As you can see, there's a lot more spread. You can see the middle has spread out a lot more as well as compared to the compact center on the control one. I feel that the ones baked on a silicon mat is not as nice as the ones baked on a baking paper. The texture itself that is a bit more dense in the middle on the control group is my preference opposed to the slightly more aerated spread out version on the silicon mat. Shape wise, the silicon mat also means that it doesn't hold the shape quite as well as the control. So there you have it. I've got a variation over here. This is the control and my favorite. If you plan on making it in advance, I would suggest freezing it and adding additional bake time to the bake. If you prefer a less milky flavor and more of a caramelized toasty flavor and aroma, I would suggest 140 degree bake. I wouldn't suggest doing the silicon one. And if you are short on time and you just want to have shoppers on the same day, this same day bake works just as well.